This is Papa Smurf. You're listening to Our Lifestyle, the podcast with ODB and the mayor. Yo, this is Rob Margie, and you're listening to Our Lifestyle Podcast. Yo, yo, as we get started, we want to thank our title sponsor, Scraping the Coast. You can visit scrapingthecoast.com for more information. Their next event, 22nd Annual, is going to be the last weekend in June. They haven't yet announced it for 2024, but rest assured, we will be out there. One of the biggest, baddest shows in the country. Get ready for more information coming soon on Scraping the Coast. Tap on the hashtag Scraping the Coast for more information. We appreciate the continued support of Custom Car Show Productions. Yo, 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 yo. It's our lifestyle podcast, also known as OLP, your mini truck and headquarters. Thanks for coming back and rocking with us. We're going to have a condensed episode. I know I sometimes say that. Most of the time we say, wow, we got a jam-packed agenda. And what I'm here to tell you is... If you take a look at the thumbnail on this one, or rather the length of the episode, it's going to be a little shorter. And the reason for that, Mike and I are really getting ready to gallivant on over to Conroe, Texas. We got a lot to talk about as far as the show. I'm going to share some key items. I had intended to link up with Radar and uh, Lonnie, and I spoke with both of them. We just weren't able to align our schedules. They're, of course, now in grind mode uh, with that lead up to one of our favorite shows of all time, Lone Star Throwdown. So the trivia this week is going to tie into LST, so put your thinking caps on. You're not going to see Miggity Mike the Mayor. Again, he is out gallivanting. He had Monday off for President's Day, and I think he was still gallivanting. So, you know, as we know, the gallivant doesn't stop with Mike. But as we get into this episode, I want to thank our title sponsor, as you always hear at the top, Scraping the Coast. Every June in the month of, or excuse me, every June, if I could talk, uh, the third weekend in June, typically Scraping the Coast, that's Scraping with an I-N, thecoast.com, June 22nd through the 23rd of 2024. That's, of course, in Biloxi. Uh, It's one of the biggest, baddest shows in the country, and we love the indoor space because, boy, does it get hot. And, of course, you can uh, rock out there in the AC, as Papa Smurf would have called it, the Freon Poisoning. So, like I said, with this episode, um, it's going to be a little bit condensed. I really want to get through all the information uh, in terms of Lone Star Throwdown, and I'll cover a few key items. The episode overview is brought to you by our family at Hammered Weekend Wear. Um, You guys hear us all the time talk about Hammered Weekend Wear And I want to remind you, they're going to be at a lot of shows. They go to more shows than we do. And what I would ask is you go by there, you show them some love. They're going to be right by us at Lone Star Throwdown as well. So please go by and check them out. They got a ton of new merch. Uh, They, of course, have uh, one of the most unique situations in our scene. They drop two new pieces of merchandise every couple of months and uh, that aligns with what they've been doing now for some time. So huge shout-out to our family, our kinfolk at Hamburg Weekend Wear. That's H-A-M-M-E-R-D, weekendwear.com. Now, I want to remind you, if you are listening to us via a podcast app, maybe you're flying into Conroe, Texas, that the greater Houston area, or you're listening to us um, however you find us, please go back if you can, stream us. Uh, be careful if you're driving right now to Lone Star Throwdown and uh, you know your buddy's got it pulled up and whatever. Don't be looking at the screen, even if we, you got it pulled up on YouTube. Uh, you got to stay safe out there, of course. So we got we got to get that out there. We got to get the disclaimers out there. But um, as we move into the general updates, I do want to say this. Uh, last weekend, we went to Quaker Steak and Lube, and that was for After Dark Remix. Biggity Mike the Mayor, as he has said before, he ended up selling that show, and they did basically kick off their, you know, inaugural event, I guess at this point we can call it, and unfortunately, the weather was not happy, 
it did kind of, I guess you could say it kind of got rained out, but I, I'm not going to go that far because a lot of people still came into town. People were inside eating. They were uh, chopping it up. They still did the awards. They still did the raffle. So we got to give it up to uh, the kinfolk there that said, hey, we're going to continue to press forward. And that's what you got to do. You know, you could sit there and go, well, I'm not going to go to the show or whatever. And uh, people still came. Magic Man was there uh, with the samurai, which was super cool. And a lot of people had a good time. So uh, huge shout out to the kinfolk there. Uh, We'll be back next year. General Updates is brought to you by our family at Lone Star Throwdown. Uh, We're about to talk about LST, which is an annual event. It's every February. Typically, the last weekend in February is how it falls. And if you don't know about Lone Star Throwdown, you've obviously been sleeping under a rock, which I don't condone, by the way. And uh, just know we've got a lot to talk about with LST here in just a few minutes. Speaking of LST, now we got the trivia with Biggity boot. Mike, the mayor, and Mike. Boot. I'm gonna. What I need to do is load up the soundbite. Uh, we're using a new service, and I got to get that soundbite loaded up. I'm gonna throw this out there. Recently, I did a podcast with Brandon Burrell. He started a new podcast, Modified Rides, and I had recently bought into a service that I was using for our either live videos or basically for the video portion of what I'm producing. And I liked what Brandon had found. It it was a competitor to the service that I was using so much that I ended up going with that competitor service. So if you're checking us out on YouTube, let me know how you you think it looks and it sounds. But regardless, I got to get the soundbite uploaded so I can get that little jingle, if you will, going. But the trivia with Mike this week, I want to throw this out there to you, to everyone, okay? So, what year did Lone Star Throwdown start? So, LST. And based upon, if you can come up with that answer, what's the number of event that this one is? So, 2024 is the blank annual event of Lone Star Throwdown. And you can figure that out. If you know what year did LST, Lonnie and Radar, partner up and start the show. So they probably partnered up the year before, but bottom line is, keep it simple, what was the very first year of Lone Star Throwdown, which we all refer to, of course, as LST? I'll let you think about that for one second. As I'm playing the Jeopardy music in my head. If you answered 2012, you are correct. And I know this gets confusing sometimes, but if you count on your fingers, this is lucky number 13, the 13th annual. So 2021 was the 10th, 2022 was the 11th, 2023 was the 12th, and 2024 is the 13th, right? So 2021 was 10, 2022 was 11, 2023 was 12, and 2024, which we're in now, I had, to, I had to make sure I had that right, is the 13th annual event. So congratulations, lucky number 13. Hopefully everyone has a safe trip uh, to the event. The Trivia with Mike this week is brought to you by our family at Graphics Mafia, G-R-A-P-H-I-X, mafia.com. Huge shout out to Buddy. He's up there in the uh, northeast, or yeah, northeast corner of Florida with graphics with an X, mafia.com. If you need stickers or decals or some light design work, make sure you hit up Buddy and team at Graphics Mafia. Okay, the scene updates. Uh, basically, I mentioned After Dark Remix. It did get, I'm not going to say rained out, but you know, obviously the rain was there. People still came out. So I think a rained out event, I think officially in my book, uh, for that to be a rained out event, it has to be something that was like completely canceled. And that's certainly not what happened. They still made it happen. Uh, Lone Star Throwdown, of course, is this weekend we're going to talk more about. The weekend after um, is Radwood. So I haven't finalized my plans. Somehow, some way, even if I go as just a spectator, I'm going. Uh, I think the Amelia Island normal stuff that goes down up in kind of the high fluting area. Is this week is the same weekend is is uh, as March second, but I know Brian Fuller who is on Carfix as well as Caffeine and Octane, 
he's going to be there as well. And I think a collection of some of the vehicles that he has built, including motorcycles, will also be on display. Now, this isn't a complete list. This is more of a condensed list because we're doing kind of a condensed episode. So bear with me. Now, the other item I wanted to mention is I want to thank Glenn. We recently had Glenn on our episode 350, and Glenn is running uh, Terminal Takeover. So what I want to do here in just a second is I'm going to share my screen. And I want – so for anybody that is also watching uh, via YouTube, thank you. And uh, you'll get this visual as well for those that are listening on the audio side, of course, I'll kind of talk through it here. So basically, uh, Terminal Takeover, if you just Google that, it's going to land you on their Big Cartel site. Many of the show promoters out there have chosen Big Cartel. Uh, I'm not endorsing them at all. It just seems like a simple way for people to get the message out there for their brand, and that's what they've done here. Uh, What Glenn did was he sent Mike and I a little goodie bag And uh, we cut a promo for him at After Dark Remix. And uh, the key thing here is it's March 22nd through the 23rd of 2024. So 322-23, no, 322 through 23 of 2024. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, You got very cool artwork. I love um, uh, the the, the, the tie-in to uh, DuckTales. And does anybody know his name, the, the pilot? Launchpad McQuack. It took me a second. I had to register on my mind. That's just the way my brain works. But if you go out there, they do have vendor spots for a very reasonable price, $150 to $250. You also have a day of show registration and separate barbecue plate dinner for pre-party Friday night. That's $20 to $50. The bottom line is what I want you guys to know is anytime someone in our scene puts their neck out to go, hey, we want to throw a show, do your best to support it if you can. And that support might be just having a homie pick up a show shirt if you can't make it. Uh, It might be going to the event, right, and and registering a vehicle. So certainly anything that you can do um, is much appreciated. So I want to give a huge shout-out to Terminal Takeover. We wish Glenn and the team, I know Dizzy helps them as well, and Glenn's wife and team the best. Mini Nats, or actually let me say this first. Uh, Yeah, Southeast Mini Truck and Nationals. Let me get this right. Southeast Mini Truck and Nationals is April 19th through the 21st. Huge shout out to Jason Bell and team. We're going to be up there in Maggie Valley. This is the 30th anniversary, and we are super excited. I think this is the the big game, if you will, uh, because I don't want to say SB. You know what I mean? Because you know that's like copyrighted and stuff. But the big game of the mini truck scene. You know, if this was that weekend, Super Bowl weekend, can I say it? I would say this is the SB, a.k.a. big game, of our truck scene in terms of mini trucks, okay, the mini truck scene. Uh, And I would say the same thing with LST in terms of the truck scene in general because LST, of course, has uh, C10s, OBS, you know, tons of full sizes. Mini Nats has a little bit of full sizes and things like that, but their lion's share of what you're going to get at Mini Nats, of course, is Mini Trucks, and that's what we love. So anyway, Southeast Mini Truck and Nationals, 419 through 421. I do want to uh, give a shout-out to Mini Truck Showdown. So Corey and team, this event is back June 21st through June 23rd in Bakersfield, California. A very rich history of Mini Truck culture there in that region. And certainly, I know there's been some hiccups over the course of time. Corey knows that as well. I think some of it was COVID-related. I think some of it was just, you know, trying to do the event in Vegas, you know, trying to make everyone happy. So all I'm here to do right now is give you guys the dates. Hopefully, we'll talk a little bit more about that event in the very near future. We want to thank Joey at Get Decked for the continued support. If you are a show promoter and you want to add your artwork to a skate deck, hit up Joey Dilworth. It's getdecked underscore VA, I believe. And uh, you can find him on Instagram or Facebook. He also has a big cartel, so you can Google get decked and, of course, get him, uh, get in contact with him there. Uh, that's the cool thing about Corey, or excuse me, that's the cool thing about the team uh, at Get Decked, including Joey Dilworth, if I get my name straight here, is they're easy to get in contact with, they're easy to do business with. And if you are a significant other 
So your main squeeze, a.k.a. husband or wife, if you want to throw a photo of something or their vehicle on a skate deck, you can also hit up Joey as well. He's very busy, but he's willing to take care of his customers any way he can. The scene updates is brought to you by our family at Garage Gear Clothing. You can visit garagegearclothing.com. They do have some free shipping items or options, but let's not forget they're going to be at Lone Star Throwdown. So if you want to get some of the latest gear that Garage Gear Clothing offers, go by the booth, make a purchase, and let them know that ODB and OLP, ODB at OLP, sent you. So big ups to the kinfolk. Crystal, we know she's holding it down over there. She's the one pulling the puppet strings. And oh, by the way, happy born day to Logan. That's another reason why I did my best to try to link up with you know the team there with Lonnie and uh, didn't really want to bother him. Sunday, they were doing some some family stuff due to the fact that Logan's born day. So happy born day. And I want to say, going off the top of my head, I think he's 13 now. I think. If I'm wrong on that, my apologies. Next, we got Hut 1, Hut 2, Hut 3, Hut, Old Dirty Ballard, live and uncut. And I'm going to reinforce this. We have a pre-sale coming very soon. It's looking like it's going to come right after LST. And then we will ramp up for mini nats. So this one's going to be one that, to me, should be epic. It's going to go down in the OLP verse as one of our greats. And I'm, I'm hoping that you guys are going, and the ladies out there will be just as excited as I am about this merchandise. My message this week, you know, I'm trying to keep it as positive as I can, is this. Just because someone else's idea or mindset doesn't align with yours, doesn't make that person a bad person. I see stuff all the time via social media that kind of makes me go, hmm, okay, right? I keep scrolling. Uh, it has no bearing on what I'm doing. It has no bearing on my goals or what I'm trying to accomplish here with OLP. Uh, I'm sure people look at my feed my feed, and go, well, why does this guy need to have 20 copies of the Chronic? You know, why does this guy need to have one more than, bi- more than one bicycle? Why does ODB need to have, you know, two Lincolns? You know, why does ODB, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I think that that's a key thing that, you know, Social media sometimes warps our minds a little bit. You know, you'll see your friends out there and they just bought a new house or they just got a new boat or they got two new cars or this or that. I've said this over the course of time. Listen, man, everybody is writing their own story. Some people out there are more driven to maybe make more money. I have friends out there that make a ton more money than I do. And they're very, you know, they have a lot of responsibility constantly. They got tons of employees and that's what they want to do, and they're very successful at it. I know people out there that, you know, like me, I grew up on the water on a lake in Land Lakes. Like me, as I'm getting a little bit older, I mean, I don't want to go every weekend to a car show. You know, me, I want to get out on the water more. Uh, you know, we have a wave runner that I need to do some maintenance on. But I just want to get out and I want to do different things. And again, I think when you see people in social media, like sometimes we we constantly, I don't know, I think people constantly compare themselves to what they see. Like, oh, wow, Joey just bought a Learjet. Man, I, I, I need to step my game up. I want to buy a jet. You know, hey, that's the competitive nature in all of us. But again, I my message to you is don't let it get you down. You know, at the end of the day, do, like Vic always says, do you. Uh, do what makes you happy. And if... If you're seeing something that doesn't make you happy or makes you angry or frustrates you, to me, you've got to either eliminate that out of your life or you've got to mute that, if you will, right? So if there's things that frustrate you, then to me, it's like kind of steer clear of that. And I think just to kind of sum it up, I know some people, they want to make everything political or they want to make everything financial or they want to make everything, you know... Uh, religious or whatever. And I look at it and say, look, man, I try to stay as neutral as I can on most things in life. And if there's some things that, that, that I truly don't care about, I literally can block it out of my head. And I think some people are like, well, how do you do that? How do you do that? I just do it. Uh, I can block stuff. I've learned to block stuff out of my head. If it's, if it's something I don't want to associate with, I just block it out. So That's my feedback to you this week. ODB live and uncut. I don't know if it makes any sense. Hopefully it does. ODB live and uncut is brought to you by our kinfolk at Colorado Custom Wheels. 
It's Colorado Custom without an S dot com. Hit them up. Michael and team, arguably the best billet wheels in the industry. And I will go down if I was a betting man and say the best customer service you will receive hands down. Michael would often just give me a call just to see how things are going. And he's a good dude. Many of you have chosen Colorado Custom, whether it's a used wheel from a friend or someone throughout the scene or, of course, contacting coloradocustom.com to order your steering wheel. I think they dabble in some other parts as well. They've got the new spinner caps uh, for the Lincoln wheels. I'm sure we're going to see more of that. Uh, I say spinners. They're, you know, counterbalance deals. They've got it all at coloradocustom.com. Okay, next, uh, we got the Mini Truck and Syndicate update. So, remember, we recently rebranded. Uh, the Airhead Nation over to Mini Truck and Syndicate, just because, why not? I love the word syndicate. I've talked about that. I'm not going to rehash it here. Uh, I talked about it in a recent episode. But all I want to say is for everybody out there, whether you're a casual listener, whether you follow us via social media, come by and say hello at Lone Star Throwdown. We would really, really appreciate it. Uh, I can't thank all of the listeners and the fans, whatever you want to call yourselves, uh, Mini Truck and Syndicate, if you will, a.k.a. Old School Airhead Nation. I can't thank you enough for all of the support. You know, over the course of time, we spent a lot of time on the audio side, and now in the world that we live in, it's like if you're not on social media and you're not doing the video side, it's like, do you just get left in the dust? I don't know. But um, I would ask that you rock with us if you can via YouTube. As I've said, it's going to continue to be Really, I think the, the the library, the landing page for all of the content, you know, all of these magazines I've collected for 30 plus years, believe it or not, I started reading the truck magazines in 93. I actually have magazines before that as well, like Lowrider. I only have a couple of those and uh, others, but uh, I've been doing this a long time and I thank you all for the support. The Mini Truck and Syndicate updates are brought to you by the kinfolk at Local rides mag yes there is a magazine and it's called local rides with a z local rides mag check out their website about 10 11 bucks you can get a new issue they offer subscriptions as well they're good people local rides mag you can see our ad in their recent publication okay next uh we got the podcast updates and the only update that i want to share is we got to thank welch's chop shop we are going to reveal our uh, new awards for the 2023 Best Of, right? So OLP has rebranded to the OLP Honors. We've got some very cool awards. There's going to be some awesome trucks. Not all of the owners are going to be there at LST, I would imagine. Some f- uh, are going to be at Mini Nats, right? So we'll link up and slap hands there and do our photo ops. But we couldn't do what we do without the good folks at Welch's Chop Shop If you are a truck show and you need awards, they offer a great selection of metal, custom metal awards that uh, your showgoers and winners, if you will, will be super enthused about. So check out the kinfolk at Welch's Chop Shop. I can't wait to reveal these awards. They look pretty cool. Okay. So let's talk LST 2024. What I'm going to do is share my screen for anyone that is on YouTube. And let's see if I got everything up here. So uh, there's a few things that I want to hit upon. Uh, If you just Google Lone Star Throwdown, like for instance, there's this MotorAustin.com website. And a lot of the information is out there. I realize, okay, I realize that we live in the era when if you need information and you're dealing with a large company, you can go on X, formerly known as Twitter, or you can go on Facebook and you can ask a question. And these big companies that have tons of employees and tons of capital, they're going to answer you, right? More than likely. Shows as big as Lone Star Throwdown, they don't have a vast staff that is constantly monitoring social media. So what I would tell you is if, if you're looking for a basic question, just Google it. So for instance, before I go to Lone Star Throwdown's website, if you take a look here, if you're, um, if you're viewing this, here's the key information. Number one, if you're looking, I'm on the wrong year, okay? So that's something to pay attention to. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because these flyers look very, very similar. 
So if you look here, you start looking, you go, okay, this, that, you know, okay, everything's there, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, I'm looking at 2022. That's always a key thing for me. So to me, when you're Googling around, make sure that you're looking at a current article or you're just going to the source, which of course here is LoneStarThrowdown.com. So with having Lonnie on, um, a couple of the things that I was intending to cover was number one, here are the dates. So February 23rd, 24th, 25th of 2024. Lone Star uh, Expo Center in Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Of course, the address is listed there. Many of you, if you're like me, you're going to use Google Maps, and you're going to have this stuff already saved. If there's a restaurant that I went to last year, you know, I'll make an LST list within Google Maps, and it's like, okay, well, we know this is our hotel. This is the, the, the fairgrounds. This is the In-N-Out Burger, which I want to talk more about a little bit later. Check it out. I got my In-N-Out Burger hat on. Rest assured, we're going to talk more about that. And, you know, any other place, like a restaurant, like we went last year, that, that we want to go. So I'm always going to have that address in that list. And then you can share those lists on Google Maps, which I love. So if it's if I'm gallivanting into a city like I am with Mike and there's a few places I want to go, I'm going to add that list and then I can share that list with Mike. So that's just one little kind of pro tip that I like to reinforce. Now, uh we all know, and if you don't, if you're a casual kind of truck enthusiast, although there's 2,000 entries, these now, it's it's become such a hot ticket, if you will, that in the past, they would get up to about December 31st, you know, typically first of the year, and then they're starting to say, hey, we're going to close down pre-reg, and then boom, that last day, everything kind of filters through, and then it's gone. The last year or two... We're talking 48 to 72 hours max. This stuff is selling out, which is fantastic. So if you think about where, if you're a sneakerhead or a shoe enthusiast, you know how these shoes sell out in you know two seconds. That's, that's kind of where we're getting with some of these hotter commodity events like Lone Star Throwdown. Now, all sales are final. They've reinforced this over the course of time. The uh, show is rain or shine, and I can certainly understand that. They do have a caveat at the bottom due to a pandemic or to any pandemic. If the event had to be rescheduled, all registrations roll over. So they always do what's right. Those are some of the key things that I wanted to reinforce. Now, uh, show vehicles, we paid 80 bucks this year. I know some people were like, oh my God, what are we going to do? The world's ending. It's going up, I think, 20 bucks. I think that was this year. But regardless, at the end of the day, it's like you think about it, $20, right? We just went to a show last weekend that, you know, rained out and many of us paid fifty dollars for a six hour show and it rained out and nobody's like, no big deal. You just keep moving ahead. I mean, this is this is a great value. Not only do you get for um, eighty bucks you get your vehicle in, but you also get two wristbands, which I think is really key because the wristbands are twenty a piece. So you're gonna be at forty anyways, you and your spouse walking through the front entrance. You see what I'm saying? So the way I look at it is 40 bucks to register at this massive event plus my 20 and 20 for my two bands. Dude, take my $80. Make the meme right now. Make the meme. Take my money. Now, in addition to that, something else that we got to reinforce, uh, and Lonnie and Radar always reinforce this, you have to go to the uh, the main spot to get the real merchandise, right? So don't be buying like the flea market vendors out front. Just kidding. There's none of those. Not yet. Many of you have been to this event. My feedback and suggestion to you is get your merchandise quick. You know, go to the um, the spot. It's kind of hard to explain. It's a big covered area, okay? There's a couple of covered areas. Ask the staff, stop someone, ask one of the show participants, hey, do you happen to know where the merchandise is if you don't know? It's basically on to the left of where Garage Gear Clothing set up. So it's super simple. I do want to say, and I'd have to verify, I want to say it's cash only. I don't know if it says it on here. But my suggestion is if you can pay cash, that certainly helps out a show. Because there are fees, believe it or not. I know most people think all this stuff is free. There are fees associated with paying with cards. Even when you register for 80 bucks, they're not getting that entire $80, believe it or not. There's a fee in there, and of course, yeah, that's a write-off potentially and things like that. But if you can pay with cash for your merchandise, like your shirts, I forget if they have hats, they have stickers, they have a, a bunch of different trinkets, um, certainly do that. They have skate decks, they have metal signs, and uh, of course, 
Those are done through Joey uh, at Get Dacked. The metal signs, I think, are commissioned through our kinfolk at Ch Welch's Chop Shop. So there's a few things that we want to make sure we reinforce. Now, when I'm looking on social media, I wanted to ask Lonnie about, you know, what are some of the top questions that you're receiving? And I, I continue to see people go, hey, how much are spectators? And like I was telling you guys, I know we're, many of us are used to, you know, going on a website that has a whole team of people and lots of employees and going, hey, can I bring my dog or can I do this or can I do that? And you're looking just for a feed me the answer. It blows my mind the questions that people put on Facebook sometimes. Sometimes I think they're trolling. You know, what's the weather like tomorrow? Do you have Siri? Do you have Google? Do you have Alexa? You know, and any of that stuff. But at the end of the day, I get it. We're kind of a spoon-fed world now. Just go out on the website. All of The majority of the information is there. How much are spectators you can see right here if you're watching on YouTube? It is $20, spectator wristband, not per day. We have seen some shows over the course of time get away, and that's fine, with a per day fee. Not here. 20 bucks for the weekend, and if you're going Thursday, Friday, and, well, excuse me, if you're going Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's a win win. Sign me up. 20 bucks, $20 to make you holla, right? Damn, I'll, I'll be hollering at LST because it is that big of the bomb. Okay, so it's awesome. A bomb as in good, okay? So. Uh, now everything we say is getting translated real time, so we got to be careful in what we say. But we mean bomb as in a great time, okay? What time are awards? Now, that was going to be a question that I was going to ask Lonnie. Believe it or not, I'm not 100% sure what time awards are. Now, typically, Mike and I will peel out of there. Um, we don't spin the tires, though, right, because we wouldn't want to do that. We head out of town on Sunday morning, because a lot of times, you know, we're taking Thursday, Friday off. This year, I took an extra day for Monday. So we are staying through awards. And a lot of times, we're on Interstate 10, not headed to Texas, headed back to Florida. And we're watching live, which they do a fantastic job of the awards, okay? And it's usually in the afternoon. I think the early afternoon. The uh, So my guess is like and I'm probably going to say this wrong, like 12 to 1 to 3, you know, 12 to 3-ish, something like that. But bottom line, if you're there and you're waiting for an award, you can ask the staff. That's one question or that that um, I do not think is here. Most stuff is. Is the pre-reg sold out? Certainly. I know there's going to be people that continue to want to get their vehicle in. I, I think the only way to do that is if, like, you weren't bringing your vehicle, but you're physically there with your friend. I think you could get the sticker put on your vehicle, but it's not going to get judged. I, you know, I don't know that 100%. But the bottom line is, if you're looking to get a ticket in, I think Radar had posted something where they were going to open up 100 registrations. You have to stay close to, to what Lonnie and Radar or that official Lone Star Throwdown page is posting because that's where you're going to get the official real deal Holyfield information, if you will. Okay. What I wanted to also reinforce is how does the pre-registration, or excuse me, how does the uh, dr the judging work? So something to keep in mind, they do something very unique here. They have drive through judging. However, they have reinforced that if you have a show vehicle, like let's say it's going to be inside or for whatever reason, you can't drive your vehicle over to the drive through judging. All you have to do is get with staff. And they will work with you, okay? They don't have some rule that says, if you can't drive through judge, you're not getting judged, go home. You know, they do not operate in that manner, which is fantastic. So they've got a solution for you. You just get with the staff and you kind of say, hey, you know, I'm over here like an Eddie Gordy or a, a Barsha or some of these guys that have like these full displays and things like that. You know, obviously they're not going to do drive through judging. So there are examples for that. Heck, I took Bada Bing in 2014, and I was having an issue with my starter. They came over, this is 10 years ago, and they, they judged the truck there in the spot. So I can't thank them enough. Now, are there any key sponsors or vendors? Uh, I wanted to ask Lonnie about this. If you think about a show of this magnitude that's put on, there's a lot of good people. There's car shows with a Z.com. He is the exclusive photographer, my understanding, of this event, right? So you're going to see his icon, which you can see here on YouTube, on all of these different um, 
photos, right? Because he's the one that they commissioned to go around and take photos of the vendor booths and all of that. So, so great job. But I would say like Phil built is one of those big ones. Uh, Phil built does all of these awards for them and they're just truly amazing, but you can look here at some of the bigger, uh, call outs on the flyer. You've got all out mobile toys, Inc, American force, renegade kicker, airlift race line, PSE, Alamo Acme. And then you've got a ton of them there, the kind of the smaller logos, if you're looking for parts, if you're looking for stuff, you know, if you're looking for merch, a show is the place to get it. Because a lot of times, like a switch suspension, they might have a show special. On top of that, I know a lot of times we're getting free shipping on different things. Not always. Okay, so OLP, we're a smaller op. We can't afford to give away free shipping. But you're at a show, guess what? There's no shipping. You're, you're picking it up there. So you can save money. So do your best to go uh, support the vendors. And by the way, congratulations to Lone Star Throwdown. The weeks leading up to Lone Star Throwdown, they have done a great job of highlighting so many great vendors. So uh, big ups to the kinfolk there at LST for doing that. They also highlighted OLP, so we're super excited about that. Now, this could be a sore subject, okay? And I was going to ask Lonnie. What I want to reinforce is this, Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen real quick. There has been an uptick in scams. And there's a ton of scams going around where people will comment on, like, let's say you're on the official Facebook of Lone Star Throwdown. And, and you know, let's say they post, hey, guys, can't wait for the show this weekend. And somebody goes, hey, uh, you'll have a scammer that will, will have a fake Facebook account that looks just like LST. And they'll post and say, hey, we just opened up some registrations here. Be very skeptical of anything like that. Because if you look at these links, they're using these websites. I use the website. I use bit.ly, B-I-T-L-Y.com. Bit.ly is a, is a website that allows you to shorten a link. So like if I got this long YouTube link and I want to make it like a short link where it doesn't look like a Bible, if you will, and um, that's just one of the reasons people use it. But now, if you have a premium Bitly account, you can shorten the link, and then you can make it a custom URL. So you can type what you want it to look like. And what people are doing is they're getting people to click these rogue links that take them to an unofficial site, and then they're stealing their information, right? So be very, very careful about that. Mike and I and, and a lot of Mike and, and John's team with Eastbound Get Down, remember, I'm not, you know, in in cahoots with Mike and John and team on that one. But I support it because he's the home, big homie. We saw a huge uptick in this. Uh, people are getting scammed all the time. And just know there are no more registrations. I think Lonnie or Radar mentioned that 100. And that came from them. That came from the folks that throw this event. But what I'm telling you is you're going to see people post a link. Click this link for the telecast. Okay. Who in the truck scene uses the word telecast? I mean, that's an old, you know, I mean, sure, I get what the word means. Hey, we're going to have the masters and it's telecasted, you know, okay. None of us use that, right? None of us use that word for the most part. When you see these links, be skeptical. Like, think, like, well, who's telecasting Lone Star Throwdown, you know? Oh, Street Trucks is going to go live? Okay, that makes sense. We're going to telecast this? Who the hell are you? You know what I mean? So be skeptical of that. So I wanted to kind of chat with with Lonnie, or excuse me, with, with Lonnie or Radar on that topic. Just be v vigilant. The same thing is happening on YouTube. If you're on some of these bigger channels like Dennis Collins, for instance, they have people all day, and I've talked a little about this in the past, that literally wake up in the morning and their job is to scam people all day. And some people will just spend, they, they, they can live on one, one channel and just scam people all day, all week, all month, all year. And they make enough in some of these other countries to live and survive off that. Hey, you want a free iPhone for commenting? Like, think about it. We got to be smart, folks. Who's going to give you a free iPhone for leaving a comment on Dennis Collins' uh, social media feed? So anyways, I say all that. Be vigilant of some of these links. As far as I know, nobody's telecasting. They do have a radio station, a, a radio program that comes out, and they do some stuff, which is pretty cool. So that's a whole other thing, and that's awesome. Now, we know uh, Lonnie and Radar, their families are also behind Garage Gear Clothing. 
So much love to Garage Gear Clothing. After you go over and you buy some LST merch, stop by and pick something up. Let them know OLP sent you. They're good people. And you can get free uh, shipping options on their website if you want to check out garagegearclothing.com. Uh, let's end it with this. So what I want to reinforce is if you're if you're watching online, if we go down here, now LST they also have this message that's been bannered up and all these other shows have have followed suit, which I think is fantastic. You know, you've got that awesome message, you know, there's a kid somewhere that wants to grow up and be like you. That message, like let that to me, resonate with you when you read that as you walk throughout the show grounds if you're there. But also, on their website, we, Lone Star Throwdown, do not condone the straight takeovers, parking lot meets, etc. that damage private property within our own community or other communities. When an individual registers for one of our events, they are there are certain rules that a registrant, registrant and even vendors are to abide by a while at the event. These rules are in place to ensure the safety of all attendees at their events, we as an event do not condone any behavior that puts the attendees at our event in danger or causes property damage to the property the event is held. With that being said, we will never condone or promote the behavior we don't allow at the event to happen outside of our events. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Uh, Listen, many of us are getting a lot older and we've calmed down if we were even wild in our younger days, okay? Car shows are not the place to act out, right, and get crazy. But I say this, if you've got a club mate or you got someone that's having a good time and, you know, maybe they're getting out of hand or maybe there's a scuffle ensuing, not that I've ever seen that at Lone Star Throwdown, you know, pull the homie aside and be like, hey, man, like, dude, let's let, let's squash this. Because, look, you know, we want to leave this spot as nice if not nicer than when we leave it. You know, for your camp for your clubs, you know, bring some trash bags, some contractor trash bags. There's plenty of trash cans throughout the facility. You know, there's a lot of good stuff um, to really focus on. Uh, And, you know, leaving a mess or causing issues. uh, You know, I look at it like this. If I was putting this show on, would I want to stay extra late to pick up everybody's trash that could have just threw it on a trash bag? Absolutely not. Okay, I got one more question for everyone in just a minute, but I want to thank our sponsors again, Scraping the Coast, Hammered Weekend Wear, Get Decked, Lone Star Throwdown, uh, Garage Gear Clothing, Colorado Custom Wheels, Mini Truck and Nationals. Every April, as I said, the 30th anniversary is coming up. It's going to be the biggest and baddest ever, arguably. AccuWare, Graphics Mafia, Local Rides Mags, uh, CNS Metalworks, and so many more. Here's my final question for everyone. Are you an in and out burger person? Or, huge shout out to Matt Stone. What a burger. So, if you see me in Texas, what hat am I going to have on? In and out or what a burger? Now, I do understand there is a huge cult following of both of these. We both love the car culture from California, kind of In and Out Burger 75 years ago was spun out of that awesome kind of era. But you also got What a Burger. Of course, we, get, we know the California based company. Um, uh, fat burger, right? That's what Ice Cube uh, was eating on, on a good day, right? We know that's also in the mix. But seriously, in the comments, if you've lasted this long, if you're on YouTube, or maybe you've listened via Spotify or however you're listening and consuming this content, and somehow you're still here, uh, go on YouTube if you can and watch it, and then also comment In and Out Burger or What a Burger. And uh, I want to g- thank Matt Stone. The big homie from Texas, the Lone Star State, a.k.a. Third Coast Bone. I uh, love some Bun B and uh, rest in peace, Pimpsy. Of course, thank you for the hat. I love this thing. Look at this, dude. It's got my colors. It's got blue and pink. I, I'd be you know rocking out in Project Smuggler's Blues, rest in peace, Papa Smurf. Served hot and fresh, made to order. You got the little rope deal in the front. Kind of feel like a captain with that. And you got the the dubs. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know it was a little bit shorter of an episode. We do have a jam-packed year for 2020. Foe, we've got so many awesome guests lined up. I'm excited as I've ever been. We're going to be rolling into our – we're going to hit the start-finish line for the ninth year uh, this you know this coming summer. So we've got a lot to celebrate, and it's thanks to folks like yourself. This is episode 352 
of OLP, also known as Our Lifestyle Podcast, your mini trucking headquarters. Everyone stay safe descending down to not Hill Valley, but Conroe, Texas. We'll see you guys out there. I'll be bumping some Ghetto Boys, some Bun B, some UGK, some Fifth Ward uh, Compound, you know, everything out of there. Uh, what, what else am I thinking? I'm thinking, uh, man, there, there's a lot of music I'll be listening. I got a whole Houston playlist, and I was thinking the Fifth Ward Boys, but all that that music from Fifth Ward Compound. Can't wait, y'all. Stay on the rise, and thank you so much. ODB, we got you. Lone Star Throwdown 2024, fools. We're about to do it. 